Welcome back to River City Live. Well, we always try to educate people when we're on the show. So, Mark, have you ever heard of a stitcher? I have not. Now, if I have to guess, I'd say it has to do with something with tailoring clothes, but I'm assuming it goes beyond that. Take a look. Have you ever met a stitcher? I didn't think I had, but it turns out I know one. I guess a good question right now would be, what is a stitcher? My friend R.G. Mitra is a stylist and a seamstress, but she's also a stitcher. I work as a stitcher on a cruise ship. I would call myself a seamstress, but that's the official title is a stitcher. And basically, whenever a new cast of singers and dancers comes onto the ship, I just alter all of the costumes to make sure that they fit them and get them ready for their contract. I come on with the install team and we usually take about like one to three weeks uh, to get each show up and running. Um, during that time I'll do all the alterations, watch rehearsals, watch for anything that falls out, do some repairs and kind of take note for things that they might need in their contract. So you can thank stitchers like RG for the lack of wardrobe malfunctions, but you can also thank people like her for those really cool, magical transitions you might see on stage. There is this trick, like transformation dress that I love working on. It turns from this like really chic high neckline uh, gown into the most fabulous like mirrored red sequin fabulous dress <laughs> and it's really fun to work on those these unique pieces that you know I don't really get to work on that every day uh, as an alterations person at home but working on theater is just a whole different story. Creative seamstresses also play a huge role in performers being able to make very quick changes. One of the most fun things to work on in like a production show is all the quick rigging. So whenever we do quick changes on stage, there's like some magic happening that we've like meticulously worked on for hours, but it's happening in like literally seconds. So it's really exciting to work on like the snaps and the, the rigging that goes into all of that. You probably won't find yourself doing this kind of job if you're not already trained for it, but there are some tips that RG has that we can use in our everyday lives if we have to make costumes for, I don't know, maybe a student dancer. Chiffon fabric always moves and drapes beautifully, she says. She says the best tips for alterations to last is to use heavy duty thread and strong stitches. After talking to RG, I have a new appreciation for just how hard all of these cast members and stitchers are working around the clock. So something you would never know unless you met someone like me from this cruise ship experience, the cast is actually working around everything else that's happening on the ship. So all of the like bingo and the programming like that happens in the theater, we have to work around that schedule. So a lot of times our rehearsals are happening at 11 p.m. at night until like 3 a.m. Just doing all these like notes and everything, figuring out what they need wardrobe wise. So the next time you find yourself on a cruise ship, take special note of the performers and what they're wearing. Sequins, feathers, and the glitz and glam of it because from far away, it is such a show, but to be up close and like work on all that detail, it's it's just really, it feels special. <laughs> I'm Argy Mitra, and now you can say you have met a stitcher.